Hello friends, my name is Coolio and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I want to share with you an upcoming mobile RPG game that kind of came out of nowhere for me, but has quickly become my most anticipated mobile RPG for 2019, and that is The Seven Deadly Sins Light and Dark Battles. This is an upcoming action RPG by Netmarble based off of the popular anime series The Seven Deadly Sins. Now I actually really like the anime series and so I'm pretty excited for an RPG based off of that. But not only that, there are a lot of key elements to this game that make me really excited to also have the game stand out compared to its competitors. Now what I'm going to do in this video is actually I'm going to go through and break down a lot of those different aspects and gameplay mechanics for you guys and the reason why I'm excited for it. Now currently right now the game as of last night opened up its pre-registration event and since then and as of the recording of this video there have already been 100,000 people pre-registered for the game as well as there is an opportunity to join into their closed beta testing which by believe is started from right about now to about uh, April 5th according to what the website says but yeah you can actually go online and apply and try out the closed beta test if you're lucky enough they're only gonna have I believe 20,000 people uh, have early access to the game so let's go ahead and actually go through and break down some of the more interesting elements to the game that I find uh, pretty unique to the hero collector genre Now the first thing that I want to talk about is actually their battle system. The battle system in this game kind of reminds me of Fate Grand Order but with a little bit more uh, strategy behind it as well as a little bit more customization. Now each of the characters has a specific set of skills and as you go through you can actually customize which skill abilities the characters can have applied to them when you enter into combat. Now you will actually take uh, three characters from your hero roster into any kind of combat scenario. Uh, there are exceptions to it which I'll talk about a little bit later but essentially as you go from round one to round two uh, through these different combat scenarios you will actually draw random cards from each of the three characters specific skill sets and if you have any duplicate cards from the same character that are actually next to each other on your skill bar they'll fuse together to create a more powerful version of that card and each of the cards as you use them will generate ultimate points that you can eventually use to use an ultimate ability or what are known as special combo techniques which look absolutely amazing. Characters like Meliodas and Elizabeth being able to activate a combo ability or a character like Bond and King being able to do a combo ability as well for extra damage and a more awesome looking animation system when activating their abilities because it looks really really fantastic. <laughs> Now on top of the battle system, it looks like they're going to have an overworld system where you can move from one town to the next, completing quests, uh, acquiring gold, acquiring missions and things like that. But the interesting aspect behind this is rather than going through one stage and then another stage and another stage like in a lot of hero collector games, when you get to these towns you will actually enter into a full 3D environment where you can control whatever favorite hero that you want, moving around the town, fighting uh, hidden objects, collecting quests, meeting other different characters, and going through and experiencing the actual anime story which, I'm not gonna lie, this makes it feel more like an RPG rather than a mobile game and I have to say the graphics for this game look absolutely stunning. I have to say too that this game is probably one of the best uh, mobile interpretations of the IP that it's going for. Like I covered a recent game called Overlord and one of the biggest complaints a lot of people had was the chibi art style for the characters. However, this one it's full 3D uh, environments, character designs, everything. It's like they were pulled directly from the anime, all their skill combinations, all the different character designs and everything and they just look absolutely amazing. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is the story of the game. You will actually be following through the story of the anime with full reproductions of some of the famous scenes from the TV animation, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I do have some uh, background videos showing you guys some of the cutscenes that are going to be available in the game that we're going to be able to experience as you're playing through it, which I think look absolutely fantastic. In fact, they do have the original cast from the show doing their Japanese voice acting, which is going to be awesome. I think it's going to be just bring like a higher production value to the game. Now on top of them bringing the original voice cast to the game, they're also going to be bringing over Kaiichi Okabe of the Monaka Music Studio who worked on the famous Nier series uh, musical soundtrack as well as they're also going to be bringing over the original soundtrack from the anime into the game as well.
Now some last minute things that I've noticed in the game uh, that they don't specifically go on about in the website but things I've just noticed uh, through the actual gameplay videos is it looks like there is going to be some pretty fun character customization and collection, uh, collecting of different characters costumes. There's going to be kind of a cooking system which I believe the items created through the cooking system will be used to either level up our characters or be able to level up the rarity of our characters as it does show Meliodas going from I believe like an SSR to an ultra rare character. There's also hints at things such as boss battles, co-op play, uh, side story missions for different characters to be able to experience. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on to this game that I'm really excited about. Now I'm not, I didn't go over everything in this video, but I will leave a link down below for you guys to pre-register or to go over to their main website to check out all the details as well. And I'll keep you guys up to date as more information comes about this game. And I'm not going to lie, I'm crossing my fingers that I get into the closed beta test as well. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date in the latest in mobile gaming. All right friends, I'll see you next time.